So now let's look at how to choose a head and work with it in Adobe Fuse. So over here, you can see that I got a range of head choices. For example, you got female head A right over here, just like that. So once you click on it, what happens is that you got the head. So if you're not uh, happy with this head, you can go back to the head section right over here and then choose another head. For example, you want this male fit zombie A. So you click on that and that head will pop up right over here, as you can see right over here. And as you choose the head, you can see that now the torso appears because that is usually where you go next. But that is something we're covering up in further lessons. So I'm just going to go to head right over here and choose a head I want. Let's say, for example, I'm going to choose a uh, tune female, a teen A right over here. And let's say this is the uh, character that I'll be working with right over here. So now in order to work with it, I'm just going to save this out so that I don't lose my file. And this is the file that we're going to be working with as well. I'm just going to go on to my TutorTube uh, drive right over here. And then I'm going to save it as TutorTube uh, lesson right over here, just like this. So the extension right over here uh, will be .fuse just like that. So I'm just going to save that out. So now let's work around with the head over here. So in the last lesson, we saw how we could use the navigation option as well. So if we were to move around, you can see that I can rotate around. I can zoom in and zoom out right over here. And I can also go around just like that. I can also go around right at the back and use the right mouse button to really zoom it in. You don't have the uh, perspective effect if you were to do that. So let me just press Control Z because I didn't mean to do that. And if I, this is right click is like zooming in and out of a lens in a camera while using the scroll mouse button is like actually going in. So you do have the perspective effect right over there. So you can see that as I uh, hover around, uh, I have like pops that actually pop up onto the character. And that is how you can modify the character right over there. For example, let's say the mouth over here, if you want to make it a bit, a bit large, you can go over here and work around with this. You can put it up right over here or put it way down right over here, as you can see. So this looks kind of ugly, as you can see. So you really uh, can customize with it. So we are just starting out with the mouth, as you can see right now. So over here, while you're modeling out, that is you're customizing the character, do be sure to see it from all of the slides to make sure that it looks great because from some side, it may not seem to be bad at all, while from other side, it may look ugly. So I'm just going to pull out the mouth right over here a bit to the top so that she looks a bit cute right over here. And you can work around with the nose and everything else as well, as you can see. So let's start around with the, the shoulder. So you can make the shoulder uh, a bit thin, as you can see right over here. You can make it down or you can pull it up right over here as well. So let me just pull it down right over here. Then you have the neck, so you can actually um, bring down the neck so you can see that it's very, very tight. So you can just pull this out a bit. Don't pull it out too much because it might seem ugly. So do a bit of a small change only. So click and drag it a bit so that there's not huge changes onto the character design. So just pull it out just like that and there you go. You'll, you'll get to the point where you want it. Then you have the chin, so you can just pull, uh, push out the chin right over here, as you can see. So that's not real, that's bad. And you can see that the model is starting to pop up. Let me just press Control Z and it'll get back to the previous state right over here. So you can pull this out right over here, push this a bit. And that is how you work around with it. On the side, you can work around with the lips as well. So you can really pull out the lips as well. That's not looking good. So let me just push out the lips right over here, just like that, as you can see. You can work around with the cheeks and you can work around with the face as well, as you can see. So you can push this in, pull that out and so forth. You can really pull that out as well or really push this in, as you can see right over here. So now just like that, I'm working around with it over here. I'm just going to uh, facelift as well. So if you go on to the side and push this out, you'll be able to like push this out even further as well, as you can see. So I'm just going to uh, go around and pull this a bit to the back and there you go. So just like that, a bit, just like that, and there you go. That's how you work around with it, as you can see. You can also pull out the cheeks right over here. And when you pull out with the cheeks, you can see that both of the cheeks actually get affected at the same time. So I just don't want her to be really fat. So I'm just going to push this, uh, like let's say a bit in right over here, just like that, not too thin, not too fat. You can work around with the nose as well. So you can really bring out the nose as you can see. So that looks ugly, control Z. 
and then I'm going to go over here and push this nose a bit over here as you can see right over here. So I can push this in, make it a bit small as you can see, just like that. I can work with different parts of the nose as you can see. So I can push this in, uh, pull this down or pull that up as well. So just like that, I can pull that a bit up and that is how it looks like as you can see right over here. So you can work with different parts so you can make it large as you can see or you can make it thin. So drag around one side to make it thin, drag around one side to make it large. So that's how it actually works like and see it from every side so you know that it is looking great. So you can work with different parts as you can see right over here. So you can really push out the head right over here. So just a bit, just like that. I want to thin that out. So you can see that it's very, very customizable right over here. You can work around with the ears as well. So you can make the ears large, so you can make the ears small right over here according to what you want right over here. So over here, you can work around with the head as well. So just like that, you can work around with the head. You can pull the head out or you can pull the head up right over here. So let me just pull the head a bit down right over here. So not that, I'm gonna push the head right over here. Click and drag a bit according to the shape that you want right over here, just like that. And there you go. So similarly, I'm going to work around with the eyes now. So let me just click here and you can increase the size as you can see right over here and you can put, push the eye down or up. You can also work around with the eyebrows right over here, just like that, and you can make the eyebrows really up, as you can see, or down. It also changes the expression of the character a bit, as you can see, right over here. You can also work with the foreground, um, the forehead, as you can see, and work around with this, just like that. You can also, of course, work around with this one. You can pull that up, push that down, right over here. Let me just press Control Z right over here and just push this down a bit right over here just like that and there you go we got our character you also can work around with the eyes of course as well so you can push and pull out the eyes put that up right over here or push this down push this near or far away so i'm just going to put this bit near right over here just like that put this a bit apart and there you go you got the character as you can see just like that so you can adjust each and every part of the character's face just like that as you can see over here and this is similar and the work process to adjust all other body parts are the same and that that is how you'll have your custom character right then and there so now hope you guys learned something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe